Chris and Dan show, we've been on this spiritual journey today. It's been an hour and it feels like I've aged 40 years in wow. wisdom, in wisdom and in peace in my inner core. Underneath this UC San Francisco. You got a bright shining light for a heart now, huh? Yeah, I got Fort Bang Bang Niner Gang, right? Liberal gang, shout out to our troops that protect us and our freedoms. All right. We've been doing like religious songs, spiritual songs all day. The Mandelbrot set. I I stumbled on this. I go down rabbit holes. Watch the other videos. You see, I don't want to go through it all again. It's a lot of shit. The Mandelbrot set? Yeah, the Mandelbrot set. Um, it's like deep mathematics that could explain a couple of things. It could explain why there's a creator. Or it could also explain why we are actually in a simulation. But nonetheless, it's amazing. So this wait, wait. nerd is going to explain it in about four minutes. Okay. And I, I just wanted to touch on that. You said, because you didn't want to watch the hour video for us to do this. You wanted something short. I watched like half an hour of that hour video. Okay. And you said you found this video less than five minutes. And it looks like a nerd's doing it. So it's got to be accurate. Got to be it's accurate. It's a nerd. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. All, right. All right. So here we go. Talk about the Mandelbrot set. The Mandelbrot set is a fractal discovered. That's what it looks like, too, right? That's what this... It's crazy. It's crazy. Just watch. By Benoit B. Mandelbrot. It is generated with this recursive formula on the complex plane. What does that mean? Let's start from the basics. Every number has a square root, right? Wrong. Wrong. Negative 1 has no real square root, because a negative number squared is always positive. Its square root must be imaginary. The square root of negative 1 is an imaginary number we will call i. Any number involving i like is I'm known as a complex calculus number. Calculus again. The neat thing about i is that when you square it, it equals negative 1. This can make some interesting things in mathematics possible. This is the complex plane. Instead of an x and y axis, we have a real and imaginary axis. Cool! For example, <laughs> this complex number would be here on the plane. One and a half units left and one unit up. Mega cool! Oh, but it gets cooler. Remember our recursive formula from before? The C here represents a complex number. Let's use our good old friend, negative 1.5 plus i. Z sub 0 equals 0. Z sub 1 equals 0 squared plus c, which is our number. Z sub 2 equals that squared plus our number. That's negative 0 0.25 minus 2i. Z sub 3 equals that squared plus our number which equals negative 5.4375 plus 2i. When we do this for a while, we can see that the number keeps growing and growing. It's therefore not in the Mandelbrot set. So we'll color it oh, a shade of blue. Let's try the equation with the number negative 1. z sub 1 equals 0 squared minus 1. z sub 2 equals negative 1 squared minus 1. z sub 3 equals 0 squared minus 1. z sub 4 equals negative 1 squared minus... Hey, wait a minute, we're going in a loop. That means negative one is a part of the Mandelbrot set. We'll color that point black. Now, what if we did this with every point in the complex plane, color coding each point based on how fast the number grows? If the number goes in a loop, we color it black. Doing that, we get this shape. Crazy. The edges are kind of rough though. Let's zoom in and see what this thing Check really this looks out. like. Check this out. Look what happens once they zoom in. You can keep doing this to infinity. Mm. Wow! Look at that structure! Check it out. We zoom in here and find some five-fold symmetry. And next to it, seven-fold symmetry. Then nine-fold symmetry. Mm. Then eleven, then thirteen. And if we go way far down, each arm curves in on itself, making an incredible, intricate structure. Within the Mandelbrot set, we can find a near-perfect copy of the entire thing. That's crazy, look, yeah. Here's another, yep. but it's a little crooked. No one designed this mathematical creature. The order, structure, and beauty we find is simply embedded in reality. In this image, I see God. We live in a world of which beauty is an inherent, inseparable part. Think for a second. If no one created this image, how could it be so beautiful? How could it be that way? It just is. 
Sometimes there is no reason why. That's crazy. I feel like I'm an LSD. And it gets you back to it. And they say that when you take LSD, that's what you see. Shit like that. Yeah. So to me, that's God, right? Or somebody's making that. So let's think of the parameters of this, though. So you're, you're creating a, a mathematical formula. And then depending on the outcome or the answer, you're assigning color to the answer right so, so if it's a complex number well, or okay. if it's fits in the mandelbrot set it repeats so right and in order to create this illusion or you have to define these parameters right colors and formula right. um that's just that's just so we can see it with our limited right. capabilities it's, it, it's science, right? It's basically science. You're you're assigning a mathematical way to describe something. In this case, yeah. they're adding color too, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah. but then you see the a, every Mandelbrot set, every uh, of that first shape has a copy of itself. It's like DNA. Yeah, you know, every cell has a copy of itself. Yeah, it's repeated over and over. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean. I'm not expecting you to explain what this means. We have no, nobody can, but it just shows you like the limitations of what, what we know. Well, certainly when it comes to God or no God, and we know nothing, there's no way you can prove either. That's sure. There's no way. I mean, at least at this point. Yeah. No you you, you can't can prove, prove that there is order within chaos. You can't prove there's a God and you can't prove there isn't a God. Right. You can prove that there's order within chaos, or at least it seems to be. But yeah, that's about as far as we can prove. There'd be a lot of a lot of problems of the world would be solved if you could literally prove it 100% beyond any shadow of a doubt, one way or the other. This is God. Never. This is how you prove it, and this is the religion you have to follow. If you could prove it 100%, you would solve half well, what the would be problem. What would be the purpose of living there? You know? What do you mean? What would be the purpose of living? I'm like, saying if if you could do that, right, you would have no more religious wars. You right. would have the problems that, that are currently a huge problem in this country, right? Yeah, but why? Why? What's the purpose? Like to me, the purpose of living is to experiment and to discover. It's not well, to be told beforehand. This is everything if, you're gonna do, and then what, you die. What if the purpose of living is to please your creator so you can go to heaven? What if that is the purpose of living, which is what the Bible says, right? You were put here as an image of God, right? Yeah. And you are to please him. Right? Yeah. And you please him by doing what he tells you to do. Right? And what if that is the purpose of living? It'd be a lot cleaner if you knew that was, you know, what religion's right, wouldn't it? It would be clean. And that there is, in fact, a God, not a simulation theory. Yeah. Again, I, you would solve 80% of the world's problems. Unfortunately, we don't have that capability. Uh, proving probably one solve 100. Another. You'd probably solve 100%. Well, they surely wouldn't be arguing whether or not abortion is a problem or you know, any of the other things that are currently just making people crazy. Yeah. But for the Mandelbrot set, back to the topic... The Mandelbrot set for that to work relies on imaginary numbers. So it means you cannot define those. Right. So that formula itself proves that you can't do what you're saying. Defining the parameters? Yeah, you can't because the, but, it relies but, on imaginary numbers. In essence, you are. I mean, I, you know, it's been a long time since I was in college and I remember working with imaginary numbers. And there are ways that you work with them. They're just not completely defined. Exactly. Right? exactly. As, as they're going into here. So I can't really delve into it any deeper because I don't really recall. I barely can recall anything <laughs> from calculus. Um, yep. But the point is, is yes, there, it is a parameter. It's just an undefined parameter. Right? You're working with an imaginary number. 
Very yeah, man. Crowd. I mean, I showed you this so that we can kind of see, like, we're barely scratching the surface of what's the reality. And that, and even that relies on the use of imaginary numbers. Well, I certainly agree with your initial presentation that this either proves one of this proves that there is something else beyond us. I, I don't know if yeah. it proves that without a shadow of a doubt, but I, I certainly think that's how you would explain this. I love Jordan Peterson when the, his whole concepts of order and chaos, because if you want to take God out of it, what this proves is that there, even in chaos, you can find order. Mm -hmm. And that's a much simpler pill to swallow than God to some people. So, well, what's interesting about Jordan Peterson is, I mean, dude's highly intellectual, right? Yeah, and he started off as an atheist. He, yeah, and he's now he's now a Christian. He's a Christian, yeah. But he says there's value in all the religions. Yeah, he does absolutely. And he, I, don't, I agree with him on that. I don't necessarily disagree with that either. Yeah. So. Well, anyways, God, we no pun intended. We got to the God <laughs> equation, guys. We found it for you. It's not all about reacting to Twisted Sister and Zero the Crooked. It's about showing you the God formula. So there you go. Interesting stuff. Don't say you didn't learn nothing from us. Around these parts, we learned. Got, it, got your learn on, huh? Catch y'all later. Bang, bang, Niner gang. Let's go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right.